the sky, glowing down on the city. You may have heard the phrase, improvisation is the key. Well, if it is a key, it's certainly opening doors of opportunity to a group of eight Victoria High School students. And right now they're winging it on a chance of bringing it to Ottawa. This is Vic High. It is ancient and it is majestic. Vic High is one of seven high schools on South Vancouver Island who have an improv team. And they've just outshone the competition, having won both the South Island Cup and regional finals in the Canadian Improv Games. It will be the uh, first team other than Gulf Island, GP Vanier or Ladysmith to have won this trophy. So we're quite honoured to have it in our presence. This trophy means they've secured a place in the Nationals to be held in Ottawa from April 3rd to 7th. They're among 20 teams to compete from across the country. We're texting and texting while someone's right beside of us and it's supposed to bring us together, but it's kind of like it's tearing us apart. because I'm. No. Oh, cool. No. I don't like this newfangled technology. The little rabbit communicates through to the trees. Students are judged on offering material to help develop a story within a scene, as well as how other team members feed off what's being offered. We do auditions in September, and then we work with a team, um, and we, we do a lot of games and skill building. Alan Penty is a teacher at Vic High and started the improv program 11 years ago. He says improv continues to surge in popularity among youth thanks to shows like Whose Line Is It Anyway? A British and American show formed around the activity which ran for 20 seasons using games based on theatre sports. Back in my day you want to talk to somebody? You shoot up a shotgun round in the air and they'd come running. Lol, Grandpa, you're so funny. Get out of here. We, we do a lot of work trying to, like we call it, reading each other's minds. Um, trying to the, the timing of when somebody else is going to speak and just knowing what they're going to say and trying to, to build the story and the, the pictures together um, in a way that really, you know, draws people in. We're going to go one by one and tell us what makes us explode and maybe hurt the people we love. I'd like to talk no, right my, now. Oh, With all the I fun really and theatre games, it. here's the kicker. Have you checked the price for a plane ticket to Ottawa these days? Have, uh, uh, um, well, uh, I don't know what center, you're uh, saying there, little missy. For me, I live by myself and go to high school, so it's really, really expensive. And I know some other people just, it'll just expensive, but I think we're all kind of committed and we're fundraising, so um, it, we're not too worried about the costs. We just like trust that it'll happen. And what about the extracurricular strains the students are facing in the thick of a BC Teachers Federation job action dispute? It's a seemingly uphill battle for them to make it to the nation's capital, but this is where you come in. We're just asking for like any little help. Fancy a few giggles? In their epic auditorium, Vic High is playing host to a fundraising performance to help pay for the trip. On Thursday, March 8th, an evening of improv, music and comedy. Your admission by donation. There's about 700 seats in this auditorium. Do you want to fill them? All of them, and even more. If people are willing to stand, that'll be great. <laughs> in Victoria, I'm James Green for The Daily.